Covering the latest on COVID, we continue to see high numbers when it comes to the virus here in Colorado. The state reported nearly 2,000 new cases today. Our seven-day positivity rate remains near 13 percent. The number of patients testing positive in our hospitals is 320, up slightly from the week before. The Houdini of COVID, that's how some are describing the predominant strain of COVID right now, and that's because BA5 can get around antibodies many people already may have. Michaela White, live tonight at National Jewish and Michaela, you're learning more about this strain. Michael, yes, as much as we'd love to be over all of this, COVID is here to stay. And while people are getting sick, the good news is hospitalizations and deaths are not up right now. Life is, is moving on, and I think it's great that people are out and doing things again. And with more people out, COVID cases are back up in Colorado. But thankfully, not the numbers we saw this winter. It's closer to where we were in spring or summer of last year. Mostly it's mild symptoms, so a lot of runny nose, cough, sore throat, a little bit of fever, but not as bad as what it's been before. Dr. Carrie Horn, chief medical officer at National Jewish Health, says those are symptoms of the new BA5 variant. And it can be hard to tell if it's actually COVID, but there is one sure way. Fever is a, a big one. BA5 is also infecting people who are vaccinated. Vaccine is made against the spike protein. And the spike protein is where most of these mutations are where we're seeing them, is in that protein. So the antibodies we've made from the vaccine don't bind to the spike protein as well as they used to. And as new variants keep emerging, it has many asking why. Dr. Horn says naturally viruses keep making copies of themselves over and over. Sometimes they make a mistake. And sometimes those mistakes result in nothing and it just dies off. And sometimes they become a little more infectious or a little more virulent or a little more severe. So as long as we keep seeing high rates of infections, we will see new variants. It's OK, right? Don't feel bad if you get infected or you know, don't feel guilty that you're getting infected. It's going to happen. And Dr. Horn says she cannot stress it enough. Now is the time to get uh, boosted or vaccinated if you have not been already because that protects other people who are more higher at risk. For now, we are live in Denver. Michaela White covering Colorado first. All right.